Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's very ha it, you know, it's a pleasure to be here at the end of this long and productive two-day event. I think that you heard some fantastic content from across the generic drug program. And I hope that you appreciate it and will take that back to your companies, to your development programs, to your interaction with FDA, to identifying new markets, to more effectively and efficiently developing generic products. You know, a big event like this does take a lot of people to, to make it happen. So I want to recognize three groups of people. One is the organizing committee, especially Laison and, and Maria Osana, who are our project, our project manager, for doing that, for aligning and, get, and helping getting together all of the speakers and the technical content. I'd like to, of course, recognize that our SBA colleagues who have organized this event, done all the logistics, made everything run smoothly, communicated this, let you know about all of this, get the 3,000 people who signed up, lined up for this. So really recognize, you know, especially Brenda Stoddard for her continuing work with us. And then finally, I want to recognize all of our speakers who, you know, took the extra time to develop these presentations, get them cleared, get them prepared, practice them, give them to you to make this event successful. And I hope you in the industry really recognize the value of that, that this is an opportunity here directly from the staff that will be reviewing your applications, or if you have a pre-ANDA meeting, you'll be meeting with those people. You know, so if you come to the meeting, Priyanka will be there at the, at the meeting on your topical dermatological products. You hear from the people who will be giving you and interacting with that. And so I think that's a great perspective to have and a way to get to you know, be introduced to them and recognize those people who are really working hard for the generic drug program in many and various ways. And you know, before we go, I just want to recognize the value that the generic industry creates. I noticed that the Association for Affordable Medicines released their annual generic drug saving survey a few days ago, right, indicating again this last year, $300 billion in generic drug savings just in one year alone. So that's a significant value that gets created by this industry and the generic drug review program at FDA. And the reason this works successfully is that we play detailed attention to getting the scientific standards right, both in the development of the products and in our advice to you and our review of the products. You know, the high quality generic products save a huge, huge amount, but that only works when the products actually do what they're intended to do. And this meeting is part of that, getting that alignment, making sure the industry knows what the expectations are, and you can meet those effectively and continue to provide that level of value. So that's a you know, highlight of why this type of work is important. I think another thing you've heard at this meeting is what I call the complex product value chain. You see things and you've heard talks at this workshop all along the pathway that takes you to a generic version of a complex product. Some of our talks really focus on some of the research activities. But then you see how those research activities feed into our product-specific guidance or raise issues that you discuss with us at the pre-ANDA meetings for complex products. And then you also heard about some of the review issues once applications are submitted to help you get those applications to final approval. So that's one of the ways that this workshop has evolved over time to really focus across that full, length, full value chain of the complex products, you're hearing about things wherever you are as a member of the industry, whether you're sort of, all right, I, you know, I'm working on a product and the science is really developing, or I have some products that are, under, you know, I'm going to submit them tomorrow and I want to make sure I do these new novel approaches, get my IVPT or IVRT studies done correctly, that across this complex product chain that you get value from this type of interaction. And finally, you know, in order to make all of this successful, we have to hear from the generic industry because our research program, our scientific advice, the talk, even the talks we give here today, really are intended to make generic drug development more efficient. So we welcome feedback from the generic industry on where those pain points are. And I think there's two good ways to do that. One is, you've heard about the Center for Complex Generics. They do a bunch of industry engagement activities, so that's one opportunity to really provide feedback and directions on scientific challenges that are blocking access to complex generics, as well as through our public meetings that we have as part of the GDUFA Regulatory Science Program. 
and you know and then again other ways again as you in the industry help us surface the issues we can make sure events like these and our research program and activities and our scientific advice through guidances address the issues and challenges that are getting in the way of keeping this generic drug system working well. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone who participated, thank all of you who attended and participated with questions, and we look forward to events like this in the future as well. Thank you all very much.